All right. On the right hand side there is two orange pictures of what apparently is a simulation um, by Jansky fellow Kazunori Akiyama. And scientists with the Event Horizon Telescope, a virtual Earth-sized telescope with points all around the globe, expect to spot the edge of the supermassive black hole at the centre of our galaxy in 2018. So basically they're saying that that kind of simulation there is on top of a supermassive black hole. I'd like you to look at the pictures on the right, which I created with a ring magnet. And as you can see, they're exactly the same shape. They are not a simulation. They are what actually happens when electromagnetic fields interact. The movement on the left, uh, I think it was called Magnetism in Motion. I did it last week. And that all rotates so that you can watch the travel and path of all those purple lines. So you can see exactly what it's doing. I just put up three different still shots there to show that it is the picture on the right. So they're expecting to find the edge of a supermassive black hole. It doesn't exist. Okay, There's no object in the middle of a black hole. It's a vortex connection point. That's all it is. It's nothing more because it's on the left there. I've shown it. I've shown it moving and doing what those two orange pictures on the right, which apparently are a simulation of what they expect to see. Well, what they expect to see is a vortex connection, which I've just shown on the right. And as all energy travels the same, electricity and electromagnetism, all energy travels the same in an electric universe because it's, everything's electric. So it never changes its travel. And so if my picture on the right mimics that picture on the left, then there is no supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. There is only a vortex connection where energy is coming in, which I've said is what is happening since the very beginning. So, um, yeah, there you go. That's about all I got on that, really. Um, but both of them are supposed to be uh, electrical, electromagnetic objects. And if they have the same signature, you tell me. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it ain't a black hole. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And my next video is going to be about the D-Wave quantum. I can't say computer because it's not a computer. Some people have asked me, like, oh, well, what is this D-Wave? So I had a look. And I can honestly tell you that you're going to be super duper frightened by what I'm about to show you. Because, uh, I may as well let it all out now. The D-Wave computer, it, oh, no, I can't. The D-Wave quantumness is the exact opposite of what I've shown. The exact opposite. In fact, it's reflected and inverted. So what I've shown is the key of David, the double helix halo wave, the D wave, which some people have shown it's like the right turned on its side and it says demon. Um, their D wave um, is the inverted reflected thing <laughs> of the halo wave. One is spirit and one is matter. So I may as well tell you now because I'll have to prove it, obviously. I have the key of David. I've known that since the beginning. I've said that since the beginning because the key of David is actually in all life. That's the whole point. The key of David is life. But why is it a key? Because it goes into matter. So what is the D wave? Well, if you go and have a look at the D wave chip, you will see that is, is, is an exact replication of the CERN. And I've shown that the double helix halo wave um, is exactly the same shape as CERN. So if I have a double helix halo wave, which is spirit, and they have a double helix D wave, which is matter, you've just now created a doorway. So huh, they're trying to open a communication doorway, which is why they're getting information through. They've created a doorway, a tiny little doorway. CERN is the big doorway. And once they find the frequency to bring something through on their little miniature D wave, chip they will bring it through CERN and that will be the portal to the pit and that's just a prelude to what's coming on my D-Wave video thanks a lot I follow the Christ and I'm showing you all the things that he showed me and I've been talking about the halo wave now for three and a half years I've just looked at quantum computing because I thought I understood it was a computer but it's not a computer it is something absolutely insanely wickedly, stupidly, foolishly different. And within watching two videos, which I'll show because they're the only two videos I need, I will show you that everything I've been doing has been leading up to this moment of showing you what's going on with the D-Wave computer chip.
And anybody who's been watching my work can go and have a look at the D-Wave computer chip and see CERN and see the halo wave. Except it's made from matter and the halo wave is made from spirit. The halo wave... <sighs> the halo wave is spirit that gives life to matter. The D-Wave is matter that's going to give life to spirit. Inverted and reflected. And it's how they keep talking about the pulling resources from other realities. Nope, they're gonna reach into the pit. So we're gonna empty the pit of matter if we are able to reach in. What these foolish men do not realize though, because I won't say the whole video, you'd have to go and watch it. Um, put it this way, the end is almost here. First of all, there'll be this wonderful time of all aliens, which obviously they're not aliens, because I'm going to explain to you what the d is going to do. And what they intend to make. Ah, oh, well, that'll do. D-Wave, quantum, evil um, video will be out by mid-January, hopefully. Thanks a lot. I follow the Christ. I'm showing you all the things that he showed me. And I'm telling you all the things that he's telling me as I go along. Jeepers, if I didn't know it, I'd think that he was opening the, several, the seven seals with the things that he showed me to tell. As if they are the seals that are being opened. I could be completely wrong, but that was kind of thrust into my head today. As if Jesus is opening the seven seals. And seven things that I've done along this way, or however many I've done have been seals. I don't understand it and perhaps I'm wrong, so please don't jump on my case about it. It was just that was thrown at me today and that we're coming up for the, the seven seals and then the seventh trumpet will blow. But it's the fact of God revealing everything before it actually happens. And I'm going to reveal to you how they're going to take these demonic hordes and release them from the pit as is written and biblically written because I thought I didn't know about that until I looked at the quantum chip and it's everything I've been doing for three and a half years. Thanks a lot. Bye.